Hey, it's Coach Josh here. I just got done interviewing one of my most successful transformation projects ever. And you're gonna see that video and podcast come up a little bit later. But today, I wanted to talk about the anatomy of a transformation, actually defining what goes into a dramatic transformation from the inside out, which I call bringing forth the warrior within. So today I wanna to go over what that means to me, what goes into the training program and the process so that you get those dramatic results, and of course, what stops people from reaching their goals. So let's get into it. Uh, as a transformation specialist, or whatever the fuck it is that I do, I'm constantly helping people transform their bodies. I don't do a really good job of defining that, so my current definition that I wanna share with you is a transformation occurs when somebody ritualizes and habitualizes their training, their nutrition, and their recovery consistently enough to see dramatic transformation both in their physical body and in their laboratory results or you know, other medical processes that we're monitoring. And embedded inside of that definition is a implication that our own relationship with ourself changes. I believe that health is a direct result of your relationship with yourself. Sound simple? It's not. What stops people from actually getting the results that they want in their training program or nutrition? And let me tell you, I've seen it a thousand times. Number one, people get really, really, um, they overthink their fitness. They overthink their training. They get elitist about the exercises. Push-ups, barbell curls, those were great if you like to do them and you have access to them. And it doesn't take a lot of modification to take a mediocre exercise and make it a very useful one, right? So number one is not being elitist about the training. Number two is not being so precious with the nutrition. Like, yes, I really want you to have grass-fed, compassionately raised, happy chickens. However, if you need to eat a protein bar and drink some egg whites to get your protein in, then that's what's gonna make you successful and that's what's gonna allow you to be consistent and that's what you should be doing. Dropping the bar, the lowering the barrier to entry for every action that you take so that those actions can become habits starts with not being precious about your training, about your nutrition, but being very tight and intentional with the consistency with which you do those things. What that means is you have to throw out the perfectionism, you have to drop the elitist bullshit, and you have to get on the ground and do what works. All right, so what has to happen for you to successfully change your body? Well, for resistance training to build muscle, I'm gonna need to see you hit every muscle group twice per week at a minimum. It doesn't have to be fancy, it just has to work. If you could do that, and you can eat 80% of your body weight in protein, so if you weigh 100 pounds, that's 80 grams of protein. If you weigh 200 pounds, that's 160 grams of protein. If you can do that, that's about the minimum for the diet. And if you're trying to burn fat and lose weight, then you need to be underneath your maintenance calories 27 out of 31 days of the month. That's extremely consistent to have a calorie deficit for most of your month. And if you're trying to build muscle, then you need a slight calorie surplus. It doesn't have to be a lot. And if you're a beginner, I got good news, you could do them both at the same time because your body will adapt to anything. That's part of what it means to be a beginner. You haven't been on a program long enough to squeeze all the beginner gains out, so you can actually get all of the juice from the muscle building program and the fat loss program at the same time. Sounds pretty good. In conclusion, transformation is not about being super scientific or super elitist. Yes, you have to use evidence-based practices that have worked for a variety of people in a variety of circumstances. Of course you do. But it's more important to get out of your own head, get out of your own way, so that you can bring forth the warrior within.